Okay, so how do you stick to your new diet? Well, number one, do not use the word diet. You're no longer on a diet. Anytime you say you're going to be on a diet or you are currently on a diet, you're immediately set, setting yourself up with restrictions. So you're doing things right or you're doing things wrong. And I don't think that that's the way that you should eat. We're not on a diet. You're making changes to increase your, your health, take care of your body in the long term. So throw out the word diet. Throw out good foods and bad foods. So right now you're going to be choosing foods that are right for you. And so let's say you just finished a five day program like you did, um, like mine that just finished um, this weekend. So I've run these programs, people jump on, they lose weight, they make all these changes, they're so proud of themselves. And then two months later, they need to do it again. And I love them coming back and doing it again but they need to do it again because they went back to eating the way they were before they did the five day program. So they committed to those five days, but not beyond the five days. And sometimes that's really difficult and we have to think about that. So if you are coming in to do a program like mine, where you're eliminating all of these different foods that you're used to eating, then of course you're gonna go back to some of those things. You can't make permanent changes in five days. The best thing to do is to find some things that you can do slowly. So when you jump in to do this five day program like mine, let's say you eliminated five or six things that you normally um, eat regularly. At the end of five days, it's still only five days, you haven't created that many new habits. Only choose one or two things that are working for you that you really like and enjoy and know that you can gradually eliminate those other things down the line or commit to staying on the program for three to four weeks. In my program, I provide enough recipes to last at least two weeks. You can make completely different meals three times a day for a solid 14 days. And then some, I think I, I always provide bonus recipes and things like that too. But if you commit to at least 21 days, then you start creating these new habits. If you're only doing a short three day program or five day program or seven day program, then you're meal planning and prepping for that one week, but then you have to figure out how you're going to meal prep and plan for the next week and the next week. And a lot of programs like mine, people really love because I provide you with a menu plan and a shopping list. Well, when you don't have a menu plan and a shopping list for the next week or a month later, you have to come up with that yourself. So you need to learn some tools on how to menu plan and prep beyond there, create those shopping lists and things like that. So I hope that you can do some of those things with me. So number one, we dosed out the word diet. You're no longer on a diet. Number two, there are no good foods or bad foods. Um, someone will text me or message me, I have a confession or I need to let you know, or I'm afraid to let you know I ate blah, blah, blah. You immediately, once you do that, you're shaming yourself for eating something and that's causing stress on you on what you just ate. And we don't want to create stress anywhere in our body because then your body's not gonna handle those nutrients appropriately or the way that's best for you and your health. So toss out the word diet, toss out good foods and bad foods. Are fried donuts good for you? No, they're not good for anyone. But if I'm out celebrating with someone or I find a new gluten-free vegan restaurant because I choose to eat vegan, because I have to eat gluten-free and they have fried donuts, I'm probably going to eat those donuts and I'm not gonna shame myself for eating those donuts. Is it right for my body? No. Am I excited that I get to eat fried donuts? Yes. Am I going to eat them every day? No, I'm gonna enjoy them today. I'm gonna enjoy every moment. I'm not gonna feel any shame. I'm not gonna tell everyone, oh no, I just ate this. I'm just gonna eat it. I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna enjoy every bit of it. And then I'm gonna know that tomorrow I'm gonna eat something healthy and that's right for me and provide nutrients that I need for my body. And so that's what we need to do. And so another thing that a lot of times people will do is they go and they have, they go to Starbucks and they get the super, I don't know, latte with lots of sugar and cream and caramel and all that. And then all of a sudden they go back the next day and the next day and it becomes a habit. And so we have to prevent those things too. And so we have to decide um, I'm choosing this because it's right for my body. 
and I'm choosing not to do this because it's not right for my body. So not only do we need to pick up a couple of new tiny habits today, we also need to decide what we don't want to do today. And so I know I feel better when I don't eat sugar or if I don't have sugar in my coffee, then that means tomorrow I'm not gonna put sugar in my coffee. I'm gonna put the sugar away or I'm gonna throw away the sugar. Or I'm gonna make sure the sugar's not where I see it or I'm not gonna have the coffee. I'm going to go, you know what? I have this really great elixir recipe or this plant-based latte recipe that has a little bit of nuts in it. It's gonna taste delicious. That's gonna be my supplement for coffee. I'm gonna just drink that every day for coffee. It's not gonna have the added sugars and other things I don't want in my body. It's gonna have things in it that are helpful for my body. Anyway, we threw out the word diet. We're throwing out good and bad foods. We're thinking more about the long haul. What foods are right for me? When you feed your body healthy, nutritious foods, your body manages those foods more appropriately. When you eat foods in a relaxed state, not in your car driving down the road, not in the middle of a meeting, not rushing, not shoveling food right between two meetings. You sit, rest, and relax. Your body is going to process those nutrients, feed your body. You're not going to have all the hunger cravings and you're not going to overeat and your body is going to establish the appropriate weight and size for you. Your body is going to digest your foods a lot more appropriately. You'll have much less bloating. That bloating will disappear because you're not gulping air, eating quickly and things like that. Anyway, I hope that these tips are helpful for you and I hope that you can find a program that is right for you and right for your body and long-term consistency is key. Making sure that you choose some new tiny habits continuously. Like right now, I'm just gonna eliminate caffeine for a week or two. In a couple of weeks, I'll eliminate sugar for a week or two. After that, I'll eliminate um, the processed foods or I'll commit to uh, gluten-free if that's what I need um, because of my digestion. I need to get rid of gluten-free or I have an autoimmune disease. I need to toss the dairy and the gluten. So find what you need to do and commit to it and know that it is a process. This is a lifelong process. You're going to be slowly improving your health and improving what you eat. If you like my videos, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Let other people know all about me, Holistic Jen. I love hearing from you, so comment. Let me know what else you would like to see and read.